your destination. Alrighty, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Here we are at the beautiful Skylark Motel on Clear Lake. We are here, it is Thursday night, and this weekend is arguably the biggest tournament of the year, really going into next year, because it's the California Bass Nation Kayak Championship Top 50 Anglers from the series. Made it to this TOC event, and it is two-day event. It's Saturday and Sunday, one day of practice tomorrow. And not only do they crown a champion this weekend, but the top five anglers of the top 50 get an entry to the 2023 Bass Kayak Championship in Knoxville, Tennessee. And that is really the ultimate goal is to get there, to get that top five, to get that qualification spot. Yeah, we barely made it into the top 50. Maybe you saw it about a month or so back. Lake Berryessa was a tournament that we snuck in with a measly two fish, but it got us in the top 50 for AOI points. And now we are here. So Thursday night, you know the whole gang's gonna be here, or most of the gang. Mr. Ensign's right there, and I see him right there. Look at him, he's checking in. But yeah, like I said, we're here tonight, and then we've got an awesome, awesome Airbnb that we're staying at Friday and Saturday night, so we'll definitely give you a little run through of that. But yeah, that is the video for today. We'll see how this one shapes up. Oh, hey, guy from Colorado. Oh yeah, yeah. How's your car from Colorado? Nice to see you. Hello, friend. That was good. Good. How are you? I'm doing great. We're, We're in good. Two thirty-five in the back. Oh, in the back. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go. How was your drive? It was epic. Lots of fun traffic. You got a gas station hot dog, you said? Yeah, it was uh, seven bucks. It was delicious. Two thirty-five. Am I tripping? Two thirty-five. Why isn't it cute working, dog? Huh? I have the wrong one. That's Look where we are. Skylark. I've never actually stayed here before. This place is dope. With a beautiful view. Look at that. We can fish right now. You still there? Dude, you guys have the freaking gnats? I heard the gnats. Those are rice flies, bro. Dude. Hi, nice to see you. Crazy. Hello, Dodger. It's not like it was raining on my way over Dude, here. look at this. This is the dopest, dude. Dopest. It is. Take a look. How much is this place? It was like 200 bucks a night. What? For one night? Oh, it's communal. There it is. Yeah. Uh, just got to the skyline. Yep, well, you know. I sat in traffic and sack for like an hour and a half. That was killer. Dude, it is crazy how right. low the water is. Well, crazy no, how low the water is. I'll be waiting for you crushing. Oh my God, the bugs, what are these? Dude, they're like rice flies or gnats. So I sit on the on the freeway the whole way here from up to just big black clouds of them. My whole car is just destroyed. Isn't this a sick place? Yeah, it is. It's like all bass fishing this whole place. <laughs> this place was like trying to get rid of the fishermen. All the regular people that stay here, all the fishermen get up so early. All right, clearly, again. Part be, two. This time's gonna be a lot different. Buddy. What'd you call it? The story of redemption? Yeah. Part two, the redemption story? <laughs> or we're just gonna all suck The again. stable redemption story. Yes. Starring Mike Henson. Uh -huh. Cheers, guys. Oh, that's the best beer of my all day. Right there, there's the cannon. There it is. Oh, it's still there. That's how they protected this town against World War II. <laughs> that's Pogo's number one. There's a gas light right there. Marcel, there's a Sakai. Uh, the gas light. So we're back. We're back here at Clear Lake. Expectations? About that much. Hurt our feelings last time. It hurt me bad. I love this place. Punch me right in the. Well, the problem is we've had so many great memories here. And last trip, yeah, I guess a punch in the. Well, <laughs> in the junk. Yeah. It's a junk punch. But, but tomorrow's a new day. New day, Dutcher. Flip it around. Show me your beautiful face. What do you think? It's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. Can't be worse. 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 
I have a prediction. I think it's going to be far and few between, but quality is going to be better. Those fish last time we were here, I know I said every trip, everywhere we go, were hands down the smallest fish I've ever seen in this lake. And if you didn't watch the last video of us here at Clear Lake, we had a tournament here. It's the biggest tournament of the year with like 150 anglers. What, like 50, 12 limits? I think. 12 limits. There were was was six, what, 46 or 64 skunks the first day. Personally, yeah. I was here four days and I caught five keepers. It was incredibly tough. It wasn't Clear Lake. That was not Clear Lake. I have no idea. I figured they all died. I don't know. It seemed like it, except it was weird. I, I saw a fish. They just weren't biting. I personally have a theory that. There was too much bait in the water. There's so many silver sides. That one. I think it was a combination of both. And they're just over there full. I think they ate so many of them probably a week, all the weeks prior, that they just weren't eating. Or maybe feeding at night on like bluegill or something like that. So we got one day of practice tomorrow. I think it'll tell us a lot. Like if really it'll tell us if it's gonna be another grind. I'm going into it hoping that it's a grind. And then from that point, I'll just adapt. If it's better, then that's a good thing. But if you have the mentality going in, it's going to be tough. I think I'll figure it out. Cheers. Cheers to that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. Coffee's not telling me what your performance is like this weekend. Quarter of a winner? One fish? <laughs> One fish out of eight cups? Oh man. Relax, Alden. You're at the lake. Hey, how's it going, buddy? You wanna go to Barrios with me? Maybe. I gotta stop at a gas station, I got a flat. You got a flat tire? I'll call you, yeah. Alright. Alrighty guys, here we go. It is 9.03, definitely a little later start than I was hoping for, but hey, we got the next six, seven hours to hopefully figure something out before tomorrow. Let's just hope it's a lot better than last time we were here. chasing that bait, right? It's bait everywhere, just like last time. It's the first time I've seen it get chased though. See, it's getting chased. Right? Yo, what's up, man? How's it going? Oh, the same as last time. Yeah. How about you? Well, unfortunately not the same as last time. Anything? No, I haven't even seen a fish blow up except for bait. I've seen bait flicker, but I'm not sure if it's like bass that are chasing it. I don't know. I mean, I fished all of the like good outside mats in Soda Bay, not even a pop. Man, oh man. And it's crazy. Uh, dude, I was really hoping this would turn around. Uh, for sure. Yeah, Mike's down over by Monitor and he said he hasn't even seen a fish blow up yet either. Oh, sounds really good. All right, later. <sighs> just like hoping and praying that one of these docks we pull up to just has them. Just has a big school of fish under it. And, ah, it's wishful thinking. 
That's the thing that used to be like the old faithful, dependable backup technique. Drop shotting docks. You could just, you know, wouldn't catch the biggest fish in the lake, but you could catch fish. It's just like, I don't know, everything has changed. How's it going, Mr. Flat Tire? It's going great, how are you? Great, just, you know, not catching any fish. Great. Are you uh, off the water or are you still fishing? I'm, I'm getting off in a minute. I'm heading back right now. Have you got any bites or anything? Uh, I might have figured something out. Crankbait. Man, I've been throwing a crankbait. I only caught two, but I'm way the f by Kanakta right now. Kanakta, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, but there's hell of people launch here. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Dude, at least you got some bites. Yeah. All right. I don't know what's going on, but this lake's dead. I know that. Dude, two crankbait fish? I think that's a pattern. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so because I covered miles doing it. All the boaters I seen, I'm like, hey, how's it going? You know, just shooting. Yeah. They're like, yeah, I caught two eight inches. I didn't catch nothing all day. Where are you gonna go next? I don't know, dude. I gotta see how I'm gonna be able to fix this tire because it's dead flat. I'm sure by the time I get back. All right. Well, holler if you need any help. All right. Figure it out. All right, man. I'll hit you up right, in a little bit. See you later. How is it already almost one o'clock? Man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. This bait has saved my butt before when it's been tough. Let's see if it has that magic today. So I need my butt to be saved or else we're gonna be in deep trouble tomorrow. Head into this weekend. Oh my god, we got one. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. No cranking. I'm netting this, dude. I just need to hold a fish. I need to hold a fish, guy. Yeah. Yes. I like that. I like that, guys. 1.30, we finally got bit on the crankbait. Oh, man. Yeah, this bait just gets them to react sometimes, I think. I mean, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if these fish are just super lockjawed or... Oh, God. Oh, super funny. Oh, man. Short little keeper. but I think that's a, a sign. Cranking. Okay. I don't know if it's a sign. Even though I caught that fish, I'm still pretty lost. I will certainly take that though. Golly. I'm marking the spot. Dude, I think this lake's gonna give me nightmares. Gives you the oh. nightmares? Welcome home! Hi guys! Did you get any bites today? One! You got a bite? One bite! Awesome. You did better than me! Oh my gosh! Why is this a flashback of last month? 
place is cool. I went out back and frogged for a while, and then I pulled out my punch rod and realized it's four inches deep across the whole channel. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I mean, it's funny. Today I was thinking to myself, all I'm really doing is just, I'm just in a kayak on Clear Lake right now. I'm just, just, I'm just soaking in the views. I'm just kayaking. Oh, dude, I found the new bending branches paddles. Oh, my God. Pro staff. Dude, every place we go has paddles. It's weird. How'd you do, Michael? Oh, I crushed it. Two? Two fish. Two! Three fish! Oh, three no. fish for three people, that's one apiece. Woo. No, it's two, one, and zero. <laughs> Let's be real. Drinking and drinking. Practice day one. Cheers. Just a touch. You're tired. Oh, pee pee touch. Cheers. You sound fresh. Man. We <laughs> thought it would change. No, you thought it would change. I thought it would change. I thought it would stay exactly the same. And in fact, it got worse. <laughs> <laughs> Goldie, you practice today? Zero. One fish today. Crankbait. Mike. But you're a little tingly, excited. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, Mike found something. Mike found some fish. I found an area. Good fish. Two areas. Yeah. Last tournament. And the last day I started kind of feeling like it could be an area that reloads. I think it might be a good area. And you're cranking? Yes. Well, I'm throwing everything, but the only bites are on the crankbait. Yeah, that's my only bite. It's tough, guys. It's amazing that this lake just, I mean, it's just so hard to get a bass to bite. Have you guys thrown LBs yet? Mm -hmm. I did. I threw the red one. No. I, th I threw every bait I had today. I mean, I was just throwing the glide to try to get some followers just to see, but... It's not easy. They're keyed in on. <sighs> so I kind of don't think they are. I think they are, dude. They're blowing up all the way across the lake. Or they were two, a month ago. Yeah, I know, but think about that. If you eat Taco Bell every day for two months, are you going to want a hamburger? Well, if... All you have is a million Taco Bells around for free, and you have no monies because you don't have pockets. <laughs> then yeah, you're gonna eat Taco okay, Bell every that's night. That's a good point. This, but listen, this analogy is getting weird. There's shad, <laughs> crawdads, bluegill. Are crappie. there crawdads? Have you had any peaked up crawdads yet? Dude, a clear lake crawdad must look like Dirt. A lobster. Have you ever seen them? They're <laughs> rugged, dude. You know, I'm just like I don't know, man. I <sighs> defeated. 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 I mean, okay, so yeah, it was practice. That's the good news. Tournament days tomorrow. That's the only thing. Dude, day it could change. Well, I don't know if it's gonna change, but it's just a new opportunity to maybe catch some fish. Gotta be optimistic. Gotta be PMA, right? Positive mental attitude. Yeah. I'm pretty positive. Yeah, it's a new day tomorrow. Tournament day one. It's a two-day tournament. It, it's really looking just like last time we were here. If you catch a limit, if you catch three fish a day, it might get you in the top five, which, of course, is what we talked about was the goal. Top five, get to go to the Classic Championship in uh, Tennessee next year. Maybe six fish over two days could put you in the top sad. five. I, I think. think someone's going to crack them. They always do. Well, I think, I don't know. I'm, I, I actually don't know. I'm not sure. What's your, what are we thinking about bags? Winning bag? 180. 180? Mm -hmm. Two 90 inch bags or 95 and an 85? Something like that. I think because I think the fish are better quality from what I hear. That is true. Mm -hmm. I cut two good ones. I only caught a 14 inch or so I guess it's mm -hmm. not totally true. My game plan is just to go throw a crankbait all tomorrow. We'll just cover new water and just throw that thing till our arm falls off basically. There was not, the top water bite was non existent. It was a waste of time. Yeah, that sucked. Just, I threw a lot of top water too. Especially if they're, biting, if they're biting a crankbait, I feel like your top water bites are not going to be. If they're eating a crankbait, they're not going to really be eating top water. I think the only reason they eat crankbaits at times like this is surprise. Yeah, reaction. They're just the chilling face. and they're like, what is that? Eat it. I don't mm. have fingers to touch it. Can't pull the money out of my pocket to buy a burger, so I, I gotta have Taco Bell. Yeah, it's true. All right, guys, practice <laughs> is over. We've got to go to uh, Clear Lake Outdoors, get our identifiers, and then we're gonna go to the Gaslight again, right? We're gonna go get dinner at the Gaslight. I like that place. That's a good place. Shout out Gaslight in Lakeport. We're getting deep red pickles today. I think I'm getting the sampler okay. platter, platter. Slamper patter? Platter of smell. Yes, man, yeah, what? Yes, yeah, what did Charlie was a devil? All right, guys, rest of the night. We're off to Clear Lake Outdoors, get our identifiers off to dinner. So I guess, uh, cue the B-roll.
Cue the B-roll. How do you cue the B-roll? Just point at the camera. Me and the girl, we do cardio. I play like Mario, cause Jay likes the cardio. But that catch is party on, oh, I'm a Gemini. And she has a Scorpio. But that don't cross our minds when we on the cardio. Bet you on a peak, bet you on a see something. We don't wanna give, we don't wanna give nothing. I'm a Gemini. Just wing it, so to speak. Hopefully, I don't have too many GoPro issues. They're already acting up. Try to fish hard, try to fish smart. Let's see. fish today and I'd be so happy obviously based on how yesterday's pre-fish went there is a lot more life here in this part of the lake I'll say that and I think the fact that you know 15 20 people launched here today is probably a sign that this general area of the lake a little bit fishier we'll see though we'll see bit within like the first five minutes of fishing. Eight o'clock now, not another single bite on the crankbait. Ah, part of me really thinks I should just lock this in my hand all day, cover water and just try to run across five. Just about time to probably move on and cover ground. Day. 
thought it was way bigger than that. Take it though. It's like as soon as it hit the water, dude, unless it just like landed on its head. It's been exactly two hours of fishing. If we can average a fish every hour, we'll get a limit. <laughs> Which honestly would be fantastic. This is not going to be a 20, 30 fish day. I think at best we're looking at five, six bites a day and you got to capitalize on every single one of them. Too. Wow, that was a bonus fish, I think. A little one. Fourteen and a quarter. I'll take him. Number If that's gonna keep. I think that'll keep. Oh man, that's gonna be close. I think that'll keep though. I think that'll keep. I think that's number four. Oh man, I lost the giant first thing this morning on the crankbait. I thought I was stuck in grass. Oh no. Dude, it's still tough. I just caught three right here though. It's so random though. Dude, I cannot believe I might get a limit. I don't want to jinx it. I've held so many small fish, I can promise you this is 12 inches. <laughs> 12 and a half. Giant, dude. Oh, nice. Number four. Oh, come on. Let it go. It's a good call coming down here. I mean, uh, gosh, 8.50. I've said this so many times before. We get four fish relatively early on in the day, and it seems like there's not a lot of pressure to catch one more, but I feel like more times than not, it always ends up being really tough to get that fifth one. So that said, four fish already. I am super stoked on that. I could be way off, but based on, you know, what our buddy said and then just talking to a few other people at the check-in last night, it sounds like five fish a day, five keepers a day, might get you in the top five. I mean, that sounds crazy. And again, maybe I'm totally wrong, but a limit each day based on how seemingly tough it's been could do it. eat a crankbait. He ate it. I didn't even snag him. He ate the crankbait. I've never... Only in Clear Lake would that happen. Only in Clear Lake would that happen. Oh, 
That's crazy. What the heck is he stuck on? Jeez. That stinks. That stinks. That stinks. That stinks. I thought it was five. Ah. Honestly, this is like a borderline miracle. Thank you, sir. Oh my god, what a relief. This is gonna sound really sad, but the last four tournament days, or really the last four tournaments, technically, I did not catch a single limit on any of those days. That is the first five fish limit in a tournament I've had in four tournaments. And I will say, this feels like a borderline miracle that we got five today based on yesterday's pre-fish. small and clear lake. Oh my god. I was probably born this year. Well, I haven't submitted any fish yet, but do we dare look at the standings? It's about 10 o'clock. I'll be curious. Sometimes this will gauge how good or bad the bite is. Okay, so just off the get-go, nobody even has a limit. So it's tough. You look at some of the size fish people are catching. Looks like they're just about the same size we're catching. Oh, there's a good one. A lot of, oh, there actually are some pretty good ones. So the quality's there, but it look, doesn't look like people are catching a ton of them. Interesting. Call of the day. There we go. Come on. Oh, 
That's a good one. That's a good one. That's one we need. That's one we need. Come on. Come here. Come here. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, let, him, let him play. Play him. I just don't know how well you have him hooked. You don't want to tighten the drag too much and just pull out of the fish. Come on. Man, I thought he was bigger. I really thought he was bigger than that. It seemed like he was a five pounder. Well, he might just have to stay here all day and milk it. I mean, I want to explore, but realistically, this is the best place that I know of right now to even upgrade. It's a fat one. Nice fat one. Man, I thought he was bigger though. I will still take him. All right, upgrade number two. Yeah, that is the question. Do we just grind? I mean, everybody has been in this like little 50, 70 yard stretch. Do we just grind this out the rest of the day and just try to slowly upgrade? Or do we go try to find a plan B? Because I mean, this is clearly where we're starting tomorrow. Probably spending most of our morning. It's a tough call right now. It's about almost 11 o'clock. Got four more hours to fish. It's hard to leave though. When the bite's been so tough and you're finally getting bit, you know, every 30, 40 minutes, it's, that's hard to leave. All right, here's the game plan. 11.36, I'm gonna give myself till 12 o'clock to try to get rid of that 14 and a half. And right at 12, we're leaving, and we're gonna go cover some new water. Give us the last few hours to try to find something else. A plan B in case this doesn't work tomorrow. That's the one we need right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, 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 please. Yes. Oh my god. Now that one ate it. Man, I haven't had the shakes in a while. That one will give you the shakes. Not a giant, giant, but oh my god, is he gonna help our cause? He will help our cause. That was a nice call, guys. That was a nice call. Okay, now I'm second guessing myself. Do I go explore more areas? <laughs> Or do I just grind it out and try to get some more 17s? Gosh, I was just, I literally just said at 12 o'clock we're gonna pack up and leave. But now I'm, I'm just feeling like there's potential to upgrade here. I mean, I know the, the saying is you don't leave fish to find fish, but my concern was that this area wouldn't hold up. And it clearly is. Whew, I don't know now. I might have to take my words back. We might stay here the rest of the day. In three more hours, you feel like at least we'll get a few more bites in three hours. been 16 to 17 inches. Three quarter. 
Another bite though, another bite. I don't know. What would you guys do? Stay here, grind it out the rest of the day? Three more hours? Or go explore? This is a place that has a lot of fish moving up and down, so there's always a new wave of fish, I feel like moving in and chasing bait so it's not like you're going to run out of fish in one of these spots that's what makes it intriguing to potentially stay the rest of the day i think we have to i really do i think it would be foolish to leave and maybe when i was contemplating that earlier some of you guys were yelling at me to not leave and maybe i heard you through the screen <laughs> Dug so hard, snap. Giles, he's a pleated. I'm like, all right, get back in the game. Five cows later, oh yeah. And just, dude, I almost broke out in tears. I'm dead serious. Grown fat man crying on the water <laughs> over a fish. Oh man. <laughs> Hello. You know what I found out today? Hmm. I'm the best fisherman that ever lived. How you figure it? <laughs> just down. I mean, nobody could compete with me. Nobody. All right, good talk. Oh, I'm sick to my stomach. Yeah, lost a good one, huh? Or two good two ones? Two good ones, back to back. Sucks, bro. Yeah. Sucks. Horrible. It's like you got some so crank, babe. I even got some fun. You are. I can't get uh, in bed. What I do, there it goes. Here late by morning, all my rods are packed. Dude, I'm gonna make this fishing song. Did you guys hear my song? Yeah, we were in concert. It was pretty good, huh? Yeah. Again. I'm gonna make up a real song. Alrighty. Cheers, guys. We are back. It is officially tournament day one over of the California Bass Nation Championship here at Clear Lake. We are currently sitting in seventh out of 50 anglers with 82.5 oh inches and definitely um exceeded expectations today we've got some work to do pretty tight a lot of low 80s high 70s looks like 13 limits today out of the 50 man field so a limit obviously went a long way today yeah i'm feeling super fortunate to have a limit today and uh you know contention contention to ultimately make the top five of this tournament and qualify for the bass master championship next year we are in striking distance i think tomorrow we're gonna need at least the same score probably a little better yeah did okay Okay, survived. That said, we're all back. Rigging up, batteries are charging, the usual stuff, kayaks in the parking lot. And I do want to actually give you guys, well, we'll go say what's up to the fellas too. But I want to give you guys a little run through of this Airbnb. Shout out to uh, Brad. Brad is actually the owner of this Airbnb. He's a, an avid fisherman, tournament angler, and he and his wife created this Airbnb to fit fishermen and women that would like to come to clear lake and visit and they did their homework because parking is awesome plenty of parking we got four trucks four kayaks plenty of space easily could fit boat trailers probably three four five six bass boats with trailers so they definitely kept that in mind um i think he just listed it this past spring too so it's a relatively new airbnb here in awesome place to stay so let's uh let's go say what's up to the guys we'll give you a little tour of the house as you've seen bits and pieces of but right now we're on the back patio got a grill we don't grill here 
here, but we could. We like to go out to eat apparently. It is on the water technically, and if the water wasn't super low, you could probably just park your boat there. Nice seating area, and let's head in. We'll say what's up to the fellas. One fella, Ollie, what's up, man? Ollie went to the tackle shop. How'd your day go? Oh, it was much better than yesterday, but still disappointing. Four fish. Four fish. Shook four. What can you do? Nothing now. But you're in what place? 16, 17? In contention. And again, I mean, I know this was my personal goal, but I think it was kind of your guys' goal too, was to qualify for the classic, right? Well, yeah, but I wanted to win. You wanted to win, of course. All right, let's go to the next person. Coach. Coach, how'd you do today? Not bad. Not bad, I uh, had a decent day. I ended up with 79 and a half, sitting in 11th place. Not bad, got a limit, I was able to call one up. So a lot better than the last time we were here. Definitely. That's for sure. I guess we never technically asked you, is your goal to make the uh, kayak championship in Knoxville, Tennessee? My goal is to win every tournament I enter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and get big fish. No, yeah. But top five is something you're striving for. Oh yeah, Why? of course. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. And last but certainly not least, Mr. Michael. Oh, hello. How are you, buddy? I'm doing great, thanks. You're not doing good. No, I'm not. Mike, we talked about last night. Um, a very good practice. Found a couple of good areas with some big fish, and it held up technically. Yeah, but the mechanics fell down. Yeah, got some solid fish, three. And then the last half hour, decided to change it up because I hadn't got bitten in three or four hours. And it was the right change because first fish was good, and it broke my jig hook good. Like, like snap the hook in half. So then I took off the Kitech jig, tied on a game day jig, cast it out there two casts later, brink, stuck them, got them into the boat, right by the net, and then shook it. It was just bad mechanics on my behalf. But you're still sitting in 20th place or something mm -hmm. like that. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. We'll see. You can do good tomorrow. If I get 100 inches, it matters, I guess. Is it possible though, tomorrow? I don't know. I think that area doesn't have a lot of fish, but I think it's, Definitely holding the right fish. Yeah. Never know. Never know. We'll see. All right, let's head out with Aldi. Bobby D. This is the parking situation. Aldi, zero to 10. How good's the parking here? We could probably fit eight trucks here. Eight trucks with packs? Yeah. Uh, you know, we might be able to get 10 in. It's a pretty good parking situation. Yeah, a lot of space and uh, in a nice secluded area too. That's one thing. We have experienced, right, Aldi? When staying at Clear Lake is uh, finding an area that doesn't have a lot of walking folks around. Folks. Right? It's always nice when uh, you're in a tucked away neighborhood and can feel confident and safe that your gear is good. So in that respect, this place is awesome. Uh, but back in the house, I guess this is the rigging station. If you guys need to rig stuff, if you're fishing, this entire area is good. <laughs> um, kitchen, lots of charging options. Spacious kitchen, fridge. What's in the fridge? Probably beer. Probably a beer in there. Beer and deli meat. That's pretty much always what's in the fridge when we do these trips. Meat and buns. Meat and buns. Got a dining room table here. All the essentials. Keys, wallets, jerky, baits. Yeah, give him a jerky, Greg. <laughs> oh, that's a face hit. And then if we go back here, here are the bedrooms. There's a bathroom here. One bedroom here. This is the snores bedroom. Mike and Dutcher. And uh, Aldi and I are in here, the non-snorers, and uh, has a nice bathroom as well. So yeah, this place has been pretty legit. We, uh, we've enjoyed it. It's perfect for five to seven people. So out of all the places we've ever stayed, this has a nice communal spot. Yeah. Where you could sit down, rig. Normally we are like pretty far away from each other. And the AC works. Yeah. AC works, that's key. Yeah, awesome place, guys. Day one over, guys. Are we all okay? Everyone doing okay? Oh yeah. Shut up, Dash. I'm doing good, bro. It's so loud. All of a sudden, spider grow gets me excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing every time. We're just gonna go eat dinner, go to sleep, wake up tomorrow, and do it all again. Right, guys? Yeah. Right, Greg. You're right, dude. That's exactly what we're gonna do, bro. All right, guys. Cue the B-roll. We'll see you tomorrow for day two. <laughs>
grind it out all day today. Don't say that. I haven't gotten a bite yet. I would pay a hundred dollars for a breakfast sandwich right now. <laughs> Literally, a hundred. <laughs> it's only like a seven minute run back to the ramp. <sighs> I might consider it. Yeah, I'm seeing carp on the graph. I can tell they're carp. They look like miniature sea lions. <laughs> you got your anxiety up? Nah. There we go. Finally, finally, finally. Come on, stay on. Stay on. He's fighting weird. He's fighting weird. Now it's a bass. Finally, took an hour. Just gotta have the belief and the confidence that these fish will show up. Little guy, we'll get us started. I'm still a believer that five fish is gonna be tough and a grind for everyone, including myself. All right, 15 and a half, we'll get us started. Yellow. Hey, you don't have a spare prop, do you? Pedal drive prop? Um, do I? Let me check. <laughs> yeah, I got one. Do you have a Allen wrench to change it? Yeah. Where are you at? Rattlesnake on the back side. Are you on the highway side of Rattlesnake or the windflower side? Windflower side. All right, well, I'm on the other over, side. I was over on that rock pile, and I paddled along, and hit a rock and broke the blade off. Nice. Well, yeah, it's crazy how shallow it is over there. Yeah. I didn't even know there all those rocks were there. <laughs> I knew that pole was there with the rocks, and so I went to go fish, and I was, I was like, well, look at those rocks over there, and I paddled over to them and hit another rock and broke it off. Good job. Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> all right, well, I'm on the other side if you need it. All right, I'm gonna start heading that way. I'll fish these rocks over here and find you. All right. Cool, you catching any yet? I got one, that's it. It's bad though, it's tough. It's not the same, I'll say that. Yeah, I'm not even seeing fish like on my graph or nothing. Yeah, I have, I have buried this in the highway. Rocks, and I went over to the rocks by the launch ramp. And didn't get... so. Oh, I got one. All right, I got one. I'll see you here in a little bit, I'm sure. All right, Dutcher. Yeah, thanks. Yep. Stay on, he's barely hooked. Don't jump, don't jump. Barely hooked. No! God! Yeah, I think so, I mean, I, I need five. I can't, dude, I can't afford to lose these fish. 838, two bites, and the bite has changed, it seems like, unless we're gonna get like a window. Yesterday the window was all morning. Today, it does not appear to be here yet. It's like you're catching a couple of stragglers. But all I know is I cannot afford to lose fish at this point. It seems like it's way tougher today. Do you think that'll keep?
No! I broke off my crankbait and my lure knocker. Yeah, great. This is the downward spiral. I can already sense it. All right. Two left. I got two more of these crankbaits to last me the next six hours, hopefully. And no more lure knockers either. Ah, yeah. Oh my God. Aldi, if I lose this one right here, I might cry. No, I snagged my first cast on the new crankbait. Oh, thank. Huh? Do you have a plug knocker? Nope. I just lost it on my other crankbait. <laughs> oh no! the heck? That was a bite. Something took off with it. Unless I got my line around a carp and it swam off. But... Dude, focus. Gotta get my you-know-what together. It's already 9 o'clock. How's it 9 o'clock? Oh, you need an Allen key too? Yeah, give me this back though, if you don't mind the, this. I lost that fish, Dutch. The one that I caught when I was on the phone with you. Oh, you, on the you caught one when you were on the phone? Yeah, and I lost it. I don't know, but I'm blaming it on you. <laughs> Gosh, I finally caught a bait fish. It's surprising because there's so much of it. This is what they're eating. The silver sides. It's a pretty good match to the hatch, right? Millions of them in here. Millions. Well guys, it's 10 o'clock. One in the boat mind is racing right now i don't you know it's hard to say what exactly happened if the fish left if they're here and they're just not eating as good they pulled off a little deeper <sighs> part of me thinks a good portion of them left i mean i think there's probably still some around but man oh man it just it doesn't seem like it was yesterday it seems like how it ended yesterday the last two three hours the bite shut down now i'm really wondering if maybe those last two or three hours yesterday the fish actually just left question is do we leave too you would think that's an easy answer but i don't know part of me wants to stay and grind it out and you know take the gamble that maybe they'll show up because i i just don't know where else i could go Oh my god, bro. Yes, got one. Come here. Oh no. There goes the GoPro. Well, we're heating. You stay on. Everybody stay on. Everybody stay on. Number two would be crucial. Go. That's a good one. Nice one. Thank you, sir. That's a good one. What are you talking about? Alright, number two. We got three more hours to catch. <sighs> three more fish. I'm having GoPro issues, of course, but whatever. As long as I don't have fishing issues, that's all that matters. So defeated, so tired, so deflated. Now I'm full of energy again. 
There's nothing that'll wake you up more than catching an 18 inch fish. Three more fish, I need one bite per hour. It could happen. What do we always say? Like literally every tournament, anything can happen. Well, anything can happen. It just gave me a ton of confidence that this is at least the right thing to do. I mean, it kind of makes sense. All those crankbait fish that were up shallow eating, I think all those fish just pushed off and are deeper now. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a giant. Stay on. Stay on. Please stay on. Come on, dude. I don't think he's hooked that good. fish but I thought it was like a six pounder <sighs> 230 we got half an hour to catch two more fish man we we fished that drop shot there for two and a half hours almost not another bite. Came back to spot one with a crankbait. I don't know if that was a random fish or what. But if they set back up, that's what we need. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for Clear Lake, the Bass Nation Championship. Came up a little short, 14th place, did not make that top five cut. But first off, congrats to everyone that fished that tournament. You obviously had to earn your spot there and uh, bigger congrats to the top five that placed. They get an invitation to the 2023 Bassmaster Kayak Championship. So uh, big congrats to them. Uh, we'll definitely wish them good luck next year in Knoxville, Tennessee. But yeah, that was our goal. Again, came up short, not getting a limit. Day two definitely hurt us. It is what it is. Some Sometimes you want these uh, storybook endings and we definitely uh, added a lot of hype to hopefully achieving this goal but in reality sometimes it just doesn't work out and unfortunately it didn't work out this time but I will say it just gives us more motivation to try to qualify for 2024 but guys to recap the entire weekend always a good time with the fellas and uh, definitely uh, helps when the fishing's not so great and you need a little bit of moral support so we had a good time it was another great tournament weekend a lot of fun as always a lot of beer drinking a lot of good food, some laughs. Yeah, just another solid weekend. As far as the fishing goes, I mean, you guys saw it. And I'm not exactly sure why the bite's so tough because the fish, as we've said, are still there. It's not like Clear Lake lost all the bass. They're still there. There wasn't some die off, but all that bait, all that bait in combination with that lower water. I don't know. I think it's just got them all weird making them act super funny. I don't know if these fish are just eating at nighttime or if they're just so keyed in on that little bait that they don't bite anything else. But really everything I got my fish on was the crankbait, reaction bite, you're force feeding them, you're whizzing it by their head and they just eat it. And that's how we were getting our bites. Just unfortunately on day two, a lot of those fish that we were catching seemed to have pulled off into deeper water and they left us. That will do it for this probably very long video. I didn't feel like splitting it up into practice and then the tournaments. So just all one big video. 
next trip, we will be flying across the country to, any guesses? I'm sure you guys know. Yes, we are going to New York for some October fall bass fishing. We're really hoping that the bite is good. We'll definitely put our time and efforts in New York to hopefully get on some fish, but that'll be the next series of videos. But as always, I thank you guys for watching, for coming along. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in the next videos when we arrive in New York.